It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's not a big deal, it's not a big deal, it's not a big deal. Look at Fixed. Oh no! <laughs> okay, spoke too soon. And hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. Welcome back to the day where Paige finally gets to use all the stuff that she's been saving. And I could not be more excited because obviously today we're doing a full face of first impressions. And these products make me so excited. I was just kind of rifling through the box of stuff. And there are some big hitters in here. We have the uh, ABH Nicole Guerrero kit, the new spray from Morphe. We have the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas, the Dual Density Sponge from Uoma Beauty. We have the Pat McGrath Concealer and Powder. We have the Smoky Glow and Midas Collection. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to tuck my hair back and zoom the camera in a little bit. I don't wanna to get too crazy because of the lighting, but mainly the goal for today is as follows. Relax a little, play with new makeup, have some fun. We're not gonna overcomplicate this face, okay? Like, I'm not looking for some crazy fun, cut crease, blah, 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 no. I want it to be like nice, fun, easy breezy because we're testing out a new mascara and you guys know how much I love testing new mascaras. So, we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna get into it, we're gonna have a fun, nice, lighthearted kind of day because those are my favorite days lately. And we're just gonna enjoy it, okay? We're just gonna, oh, we're gonna enjoy it. Okay, let's do this, let's do this. Oh, really quickly, now that my hair is out of my face, the first thing I have to address before I can get into makeup is my crusted, busted little lips because they are driving me crazy. And for that, we are gonna be talking about these new little flavors from Fresh. These are their hydrating lip balms and these are so fantastic. This isn't sponsored. They were sent to me from Octoly and Fresh in exchange for my honest opinion, which for me is a no brainer because I've talked to you guys about these so many times, but just just to be clear, I didn't pay for them, but this also isn't sponsored content. I have two out of the three flavors that they sent me right here. There is watermelon and blood orange. And at first I was a little bit like, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that. But these smell so good. The third one, by the way, is Zesty Mint. And I keep that one in my office because it's so, so nice for like a middle of the day, just like you need a refresher on your lips. They are so fantastic. The one I'm going in with today is the blood orange one right here. It is so freaking stunning, like the look, the smell, everything about this. But what I love most about these is the texture. And that's one of the reasons that when I had the option to like go through Octoly and decide what I wanted, um, one of that's one of the reasons that I picked these because the original um, version of this, which is their caramel lip hydrating one, it is like a cult classic lip balm. And I absolutely fell in love with that one. I've been through probably two or three containers. I got my mom hooked on it. Like it is a fantastic lip balm. My concern is always when a brand like comes out with new flavors and stuff that they're either going to like change the texture or the ingredients or they're gonna like add some weird alcohol thing to it that's gonna dehydrate or you know something weird like that and now that I've used them several times I can tell you the consistency and the formula is exactly the same as the old ones and they're just really nice on the lips like so hydrating but also so glossy at the same time so you can kind of play around with it and you put it on your finger you know or you know it's put it on your lips or whatever you can see that there's some color to it but really when you apply it it doesn't give you like much of anything it gives you a nice like glossy hydration when you go to apply it you only get the tiniest amount of like that color and that undertone and really quickly this is the watermelon option which I've also made a little dent in because I keep this one next to my chair for when I edit and uh, this is absolutely fantastic again the color and everything about it is super cute what really gets me about this one is the smell because it takes me back to being like six years old it smells exactly like watermelon gum but the kind that was in like the long tape that you would grab like a giant glob of and shove in your mouth that's what this smells like and it just hits me in all the right nostalgic ways. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. But anyways, that's all I had to say on that. I just wanted to let you guys know, Fresh did send me their three new scents. They are absolutely fantastic. Um, I don't have, like I said, I don't have the zesty mint to show you, but all three of them are really nice. And the consistency, whether you wanna go with the new formulas, the caramel, which is like the cult classic original, or any of the other ones in between, they are just so, so nice. So highly recommend. And now we can get onto the face because my lips are feeling so nice. Do you see how red this is right here? I was just sitting here and I had like a hair, so I very gently like scratched along my forehead. Look at how red. What the hell did I do? Did I mention I barely touched my face? What? <sighs> it doesn't even matter. Like, I, I don't even know why I would be shocked anymore. Like, I, randomly, I'm just covered in, like, bumps and bruises and scrapes and red things, and I just, why, why am I surprised anymore? I don't know. But guys, while we just wait for whatever this is to hopefully calm the hell down, let's go ahead and talk about primer. Because for today, we are finally talking about the primer that so many of you tagged me in. You all wanted to know what I thought of it. And I have saved it. Oh, have I saved this for weeks. And that is none other than the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. And I'm so excited. Uh, 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 and I don't want to hide it. Because you all know, or at least if you've been here for more than probably one or two videos, you know my love and obsession with the original silk 
silk canvas. So when I saw that this one released, I was just like, huh, like we have to see, is this really going to do anything? The consistency of the original is almost like a putty type situation. And the way that I've always explained it is that it has this consistency because it's supposed to um, like fill in pores and wrinkles, fine lines, cracks, <laughs> cracks. <laughs> it's supposed to fill in cracks. Wrinkles on your face are like the cracks in plaster. You know what I mean? Like you're just trying to like smooth it in, caulk it off and call it a day something like that. I'm not a contractor, but you get what I'm saying. With this original one, that was always kind of how I explained it and how I uh, figured that it did such a nice job. So when they came out with this other version that was a liquid, I'm like, how are you going to make a liquid of something that literally needs to be this consistency in order to work? So for that reason, I'm very excited to play with this little guy. Let's go ahead here. This is the bottle. You just take off the little purple lid and it looks like it does have a pump. I'm going to go in with about this much right here and just smooth it over and then kind of work it in. This is almost like a serum type consistency. Ooh, and it feels so nice. It feels very silky. Oh, ooh, I like that. The side that I just applied it on, it feels so incredibly smooth. I mean, they both feel really smooth, but this side, when I look up close, I can actually see that the pores do look like visibly smaller. I'm so intrigued. So I didn't mention this at the beginning of my video, but I don't have a new step or a new item for every step of my routine. So there obviously are going to be some parts that I just kind of get through a little bit quicker. And for this next step, I'm going to go ahead and go in with something that will help me spot conceal, which is of course my YSL All Hours Concealer. This is in the shade 0.5. And this is my all-time favorite spot concealer. It is fantastic. And the shade is like my exact skin tone. So I'm just going to take and throw a little bit of this all over here. And then I'm gonna go in with my custom Real Techniques. This is their 424. It's the one that you can adjust the coverage on. And I am going to just gently kind of buff and press that into the skin just to give me some more instant coverage. And because I went in with that and I was able to get some pretty nice coverage like immediately over my blemishes, I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite combinations which is my ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the shade Light 5N. And to this, I'm going to add just a drop or two of my Catrice HD Full Coverage in the shade 010 Light Beige. Then once I have that all over the face, you can see it's just kind of speckled. I'm gonna blend it in. And for that, I'm going to use the Dual Density Sponge from Uoma. I think I'm saying that right. Um, this is supposed to be their dual density multi-purpose sponge. It has a fine point for hard to reach areas and it's suitable for use with liquid gel and powder. It expands to up to three times its size for a brushed finish and you use it wet and basically blend everything in. Yeah, this side has a fantastic consistency. I really like this. Not only does it press in really well, but I can actually see it like depositing and pressing in more coverage. I will use the other end here in a second. So I'm going to take a pause from coverage right there. You can still see that there's a little bit poking through, but I want to leave a little something so I can play around with the concealer. And that is the new Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer. I have this in the shade, it looks like L1. Let's go ahead and take a little look-see. It has a very small applicator, that's interesting. Oh, but very creamy and very light. <laughs> Oh boy, okay. Um, I'm gonna stop right there and I only apply like maybe a third of what was on the doe foot applicator. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with my less dense side of this sponge. And uh, let's see if we can, ooh, that looks really pretty actually, okay. I also really like the fact that even though this is like a thicker consistency for a concealer, it blends out really well. Like, the, not only does it spread when I apply it, but it also just blends out. Like, look at how far that goes in a short amount of time. It looks really pretty. And it's a very consistent brightness under my eyes, which I like too. I'm only gonna apply a tiny bit, like through the T-zone and then a little bit down here on my jaw as well, especially now that I know how far it spreads. I obviously don't wanna overdo it. Now from there, I also grabbed this from the Pat McGrath website. It launched at the same time as the concealer, and this is their Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. I'm sorry, but does it annoy anybody else that not only does this not come with a tear tab, so you can just like tear it apart, but it also has these little sequins in it, which first of all, make an absolute mess. Like if you accidentally spill this somewhere, good Lord, you're gonna be picking them up for a year, number one. Number two, aren't they like awful for the environment or something, or did they switch over. Oh, yep. On the floor they went. Awesome. Then they also, just fun fact, went all over my beauty table because when I set this down, the slit in the back went down too far and they just went kapooey everywhere. Awesome. So here is the powder. I have this in the shade light, which looks to be just like a straight white pressed translucent type powder. 
Oh yeah, she is def <laughs> definitely white. Okay, um, this is gonna be interesting. I'm really curious. Where's my phone? I wanna know if this is gonna give me flashback or not. Yeah, oh yeah, there's definitely flashback. Okay, so good to know. Um, not that that really pertains to everybody, but it's still handy information to have. Now before I go in and use the powder itself, I am going to just press that concealer out one more time because my under eyes wrinkle and crinkle almost instantly. I'm gonna go in here with a Morphe Y10. I'm just gonna dot my little brush right into it, get it good and coated. And I am really going to set that under eye in place. I did take what was left on the brush and kind of buffed it into my nose. So if that area looks a little bit white as well, that's why. I do enjoy how lightweight that powder is. It it buffed into my under eyes and it set them down, but it did it like with the finest of mill, which I really appreciate. And my under eyes actually do look pretty smooth, which is impressive. But just in the name of science here, I'm also gonna take some of this powder and lightly kind of buff it into my T-zone really quickly and a little bit up onto the wrinkles just because I wanna see what it'll do. Now really quickly, I'm gonna take the Urban Decay Stay Naked Fix Powder. This is in the shade 20WY and my Scott Barnes 67 and I'm just gonna very lightly dust that over the rest of my face just to lightly set everything else before we try to blend on top of it. And then just to throw on a couple other things that you've seen me use a thousand times, I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer in Golden Gale, that and my nice little duo fiber here, and I'm just gonna lightly buff in some of that bronzer. Now this is a story all about how I bronze up my Dorito Cheeto Cupcake so I don't look like a cow. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> And then for blush, I'm gonna grab this little palette, which I have sitting next to me from NARS. This is their Exposed Cheek Palette. And I am going to mix these two, actually, probably like these three colors right here in this L. I'm just gonna use all of those to kind of veil the cheeks because I want something that has a little bit of color, but I don't want it to be too much. Okay, now hear me out on this one, okay? Does anybody else wonder what it would look like if you took the Pat McGrath powder, which is admittedly like a very strong white, you know, radiant type finish, but if you were to take this and try to like bake your under eyes with it, because again, hear me out, okay? Because I know it sounds crazy, but I feel like if I could take this with like this, you know, squishy end of the, of the sponge here, if I could take this powder and like press it in and let it sit, you know, just for a few minutes, say long enough for me to do my brows and then wipe it away. I think it could look really nice and have like a prolonged brightness under my eyes. It could also look stark white, you know, Casper Ghost, not cute, but honestly, this is a first impression for a reason. We have to try everything. Really quickly, I was just taking my sponge and like dipping in there. Can you see on this, um, on this powder compact, like all the white residue, this stuff flakes off and like comes apart so easily. So definitely be mindful, but I'm going to take some of it and just kind of deposit it on my under eye. All right, and then I just added a little bit down the uh, sides of the face right there. I know it looks a lot more intense on camera. Just remember, it does have that flashback thing going. So in real life, I can't hardly see it, but on camera, it's showing up very stark. So really quickly, while that bakes, I'm just gonna go in with my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is in the shade four. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of the Benefit Brow Gel in the shade 4.5. So really quickly, I just went ahead and I wiped off the bake from under my eyes and like the rest of my face and it actually looks really really pretty like I love the brightness that there is the only issue that I'm having and it's more so just the way you guys are gonna see it like right up through here on camera I can see it really like lighting up that area and I just want you to know like in real life it doesn't look like that at all in real life it looks nice and it's more it's more like how it looks on this side probably because this side is getting more natural light versus this side which is getting a little bit of a larger hit from the fake lighting or my studio lighting so just something to keep in mind if the the powder looks a little bit um, like overdone in one way or another. That might be why. But you guys, it's finally time. We're gonna bust open the Smoky Glow Midas palette. This packaging is super duper pretty. For those of you that don't know, this is the collab. Oh my God, that's super pretty. I love these colors. Um, this is the collab that Midas Cosmetics, which is more of like a, a smaller, more indie type brand that they did with Smoky Glow or Hannah here on YouTube. And uh, they did an entire set. We have this, the highlight palette and a lip gloss set. And this is so pretty. Congratulations, Hannah. Oh my my gosh, this thing is so stunning. I actually really like this color story. Oh, jump cut. Oh my God, that's like a coral orange. Oh, that's so... Oh, yep, that might be my favorite right there. That might have just done me in right there. Yep, that's like my favorite. Ooh, and the pigment's pretty. Um, what's a... Oh, what's that shade next to it? Group chat? Oh, I'm sorry, who are you? And I, yes, I know everybody else has talked about this palette. Oh, I might have to use that one today. Look at that pink sparkle. Look at the sparkle. Oh my God. Also nutty, let's look at a rant. Let's look at both of them. Okay, I'm a shimmer queen, we all know this, but oh, 
Those are stunning. That dude, look at that blue one right there. And then group chat, which is over there. And I can't, po I couldn't possibly have put that in a worse place, but look at how pretty. So the first thing I'm gonna do really quickly is I'm just gonna grab a little bit of my Hourglass Concealer, pop that on the lids just as a primer. This is the same concealer that I just used to carve out very lightly the underside of my brows. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take this fluffy brush here, the M, I think it's the 452, yeah, at Morphe M452. We're gonna go in with the shade Basic and we're just gonna throw that all through the crease just to get it good and set down. I think from there, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of this hot pink shade here, same brush, and I'm going to lightly dust that through the crease. My hope is that because I already set the crease down, I'll be able to apply it with a little bit of a lighter hand, because that's really all I want is like that nice, like light pink kind of veil through the crease. And I have a feeling based on how punchy this is, if I hadn't set the crease, it would have been like way more intense. But because I did set the crease, I'm really able to manipulate the shade and like buff it out. All right, now I did go ahead and I lightly built that shade up. You can see it has that, that nice like diffused pink color, but I did go back through more so in the central crease portion and build it up just a freckle because I have kind of an idea of what I want this whole thing to look like. So I'm gonna grab my NYX glitter glue here, which normally I save until after I've, you know, deepened up the eye and I've created a bunch of dimension. But for today, I'm not really interested as much in the dimension of the eye as I am like the overall like almost like fluffy kind of powdery shimmery type look like I want it to look more light-hearted and, and happy and fluffy than anything else if that makes sense so I'm just taking that glitter glue and I'm tapping it all over the lid which I always do before I go in with any shimmer and then I'm going to take the shade group chat which is this super beautiful shade and I am going to just pop that on oh that's a beautiful shade Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. You're beautiful. You are beautiful, no matter what they say. Also, fun fact, I absolutely hate that song. <laughs> like, with the power of a thousand burning suns, I hate that song. My mom loves it. I loathe it with my whole being. From there, really quickly, I just want to take my BH number something. I have no idea. It's just like a smaller, more fluffy type brush. And I'm going to grab the tiniest amount of the shade Content right down here. And I'm going to pop that on the inner and outer V just a little bit. Again, normally I go in first and I deepen up everything and then I add my glitter shades. But for today's look, because I want it to be super soft, I'm adding it after the fact and I'm just very lightly going to buff that in again in more of like an upward motion just to kind of lift the eye a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of that content, that dark purple that I just put on the inner and outer V and I'm gonna throw that on the lower lash line as well. And then I'm gonna blend that out on the bottom side with a tiny, tiny bit of that original hot pink shade. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the eyes where they are at, but that turned out absolutely so beautiful. Like the consistency, I know I only use four shades, but the consistency of that and the way that everything blended out is absolutely beautiful. Like I am, I'm such a fan, I have no complaints. All right, so I went ahead and I moved the camera out a little bit and in order to proceed, we have to of course set our face per usual. And at this point, normally, I would use my normal Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. But for today, we have their new collab that they did. This is their Sweet Peach by Sweetie. So this is just basically a different version of their Continuous Setting Mist. The color and the packaging on this is so freaking cute. Look at how colorful that is. Like, I love, this is such a good color. Oh my God, I love neon colors and like the bright pops. Oh, it's so summer. It's so cute. It's cute. Oh, no, come back. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's not a big deal, it's not a big deal, it's not a big deal. Look at fixed. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Spoke too soon. All right. So through all of that, I did give it a nice spray and it's definitely got a peach smell to it, which I'll be honest, peach smells are not my favorite. Um, I know a lot of people live, breathe, die for them. So I'm not going to say one way or the other, but for me personally, not my favorite, uh, but at least it doesn't stink and it's not like overwhelming, which I appreciate. Let's go ahead. The mist is still really nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and give us a spray. So up close, that spray looks pretty much identical to the normal Morphe one that I would use. It feels the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that to kind of press in, move on to my other products, and we will revisit that one more time before I conclude. It's gonna lead us into highlight, and for that I have the ABH and Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit here. Excuse me, get out of my way, thank you. This is what the glow kit looks like on the inside. The colors look really, really beautiful. Let's go ahead and swatch them. Ooh, they feel nice. Ooh, okay. So I think it goes without saying with any glow kit that uh, I won't be able to use all of the shades, but I really love the tones and like the softness of some of these. They're really pretty, especially the shade Daydream, which is like this almost corally type color right here. That's super beautiful. I'm going to go ahead here and grab my highlight brush, which as of late has been my e.l.f. Jelly Pop Stipple. And I think for today I'm going to mix together those two shades. I'm just going to kind of tap back and forth between the two. 
<gasps> oh, that's really pretty. Actually, the mixture of those is like perfect. I think in the interest of just having a little fun, on the other side, I wanna mix that brighter white shade with this shade down here, the shade Daydream. We're gonna go ahead and apply that. Oh, that's pretty. I actually think that I like the Daydream side better. I just think it has like this really nice, like softness into my skin that looks a little bit better than this side. And again, this is more of like an in real life type thing. I don't even know if you can like see the difference on camera. And then I also wanna do my inner eye right here in my brow bone. And I think the shade that would work best for that would be the shade Kitty Cat right here. So I'll probably go in with that and then pop a little bit of the Forever Lit over top of it but I really love the, the undertone of the kitty cat. I think it really matches. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, it really matches the, uh, the shade that I put all over the lid there out of the uh, Smoky Glow palette. And then I'm also gonna take just a little bit of the shade Forever Lit right there, and I'm gonna pop that up the dead center of my eye right there just to kind of play off of the already like bright and bold thing we got going on right there. <gasps> it's so pretty. So now that all of that is finished up, which I am absolutely loving the way that this looks so far, oh my gosh, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with one more spray of the Morphe spray here. And then over top of that, I'm gonna take a little bit of the ABH Dewy Set Spray. I was so freaking excited about this. I found it on their website. They had a sale like maybe a week or so ago and it was buy one, get one half off or buy one, get one something. And so I went ahead and I finally repurchased it. And this spray is so good. I, I love this. It's so nice. And I'd been telling myself like, you have to wait, you have to wait till there's a sale. And there was finally a sale and I was like, huh. Ah. I was so excited, so I repurchased that. And then really quickly, because obviously I'm talking about the Smoky Glow collection, I do want to swatch the highlight palette that she came out with as well. Um, we have the shade Slay and the shade Yas, and they're both really, really beautiful. They have a very nice consistency to them. They are swatched on my hand, and the only reason that I didn't use them for today's video is because they are a little bit too deep for my skin tone, especially the gold one. The pink one I definitely could have made work, but I would have had to mix it with the ABH the, the white shade out of there anyway, but that is the little highlight palette. Again, the consistency is very, very nice. It's very thin. Um, it's not like a weird, chunky, chalky type texture, which I was really grateful for. Y'all, if there's one thing I can't stand, it is a chalky ass textured highlight. Ugh, it's disgusting. All right, and then from there, it's time for mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl up my lashes. This is my e.l.f. Lash Curler. And then today we get to test out the ABH. This is their new Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. You guys know I love a good mascara. And I love, ooh, I like this profile of the wand a lot. It has like a nice light kind of hourglass feel to it. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Okay, let's go ahead here. Let's curl up the lashes and then let's get on with it. All right, beautiful people. So it's been a few minutes and I just went off of camera. Obviously I did my mascara. We'll talk about that in just a second, but I always forget to talk to you guys about the eyeliners that I use. So today I am not forgetting. On the upper waterline, I went in with the Fenty Fly Liner Pencil. This is in the shade Cause I'm Black. And then on the lower lash line, I went in with the Mar Mark Jacobs Pink of Me liner. And I wanted to mention these for a couple of reasons. Number one, I have been playing around with the Fenty ones. I bought, I think, four different shades of these for my um, new Fenty video, which I can link up there. And since I've been playing around with these, I have to say this formula is proving to be very, very nice. And this black formula, especially, it's a really good, like almost sticky matte version. So it really does adhere to your waterline. And it's, I've just been really enjoying it. Mark Jacob ones I've loved for a long time. So there's no surprise there. And then one thing I also wanted to mention, this just made me think of it and I hope it's not like I don't even think weird would qualify like I, I've always kind of felt like we have an open relationship on this channel whether it's me with you guys or vice versa uh, um, you guys always have wanted to know like what you can do to help and then when you guys do it and, and you're like oh it's just a comment or it's just a like or whatever to me it's not just a comment or just a like or um, you know just watching that ad like it makes a big difference to me whether it's financially or monetarily or just in the overall analytics or in telling me hi and good morning you know things like that they do make a difference. And something that I forgot to mention in the video where we talked about all of that, I want to say it was maybe like two weeks ago, you guys had asked me. Um, but something I wanted to mention is that those of you that shop through my commission links or my, I think they're just affiliate links maybe down in the description. It is such, like, it's such a small, small percentage that I make off of it as far as like the, the money part of it goes. But I just wanted to say thank you because I know that, you know, sometimes it can be a pain if you're like on a desktop or on YouTube or whatever. I know that stuff gets weird, but I have got, I have had some of you reach out to me 
directly that are like, hey, you know, if I shop this way, can you still make the commission? Or like, I really want you to still be able to earn that. And I just want you guys to know that that means so much to me. It just, it means a lot that you guys want to do whatever you can in your power. Even if it's just something that seems so little, it really means a lot to me. I just wanted to say thank you for, you know, not only watching the video and watching the ads, but then shopping through my links. Like it, it really makes a difference, whether it's me or any other, you know, creator, but especially when you're a small creator, like it just, it makes a huge difference. And I just want to say thank you because it does make a big difference to me. Again, not just on like the money side, but in like the, the way that you guys are liking the way that I present the product and you like it so much you want to try it. And I don't know, it just means a lot to me. So I wanted to mention it and just say thank you because I think that, you know, we live in a world where not a lot of people say thank you and people are assholes. And I just, I don't want to be one of those. I want to be that person that you guys know appreciates you and you know why and, and all of that. So I really appreciate it. And we're going to go ahead and get on to lips, but thank you guys for being fantastic because it meant a lot. And now every time I look at these, I think of you guys because I'm just like, oh, they tried it. Like a bunch of you guys wanted to try them and you were looking at all the colors and it's just super cool. So thank you. All right. And then after testing several little swatches of lip liner, I decided on this little guy from Essence. This is their stay put eight hour lip liner and I have it in the shade four keep receipts. I'm just going to go ahead here and lightly line my lips. Then I'm also going to bring it up onto the lip and kind of smudge it in. And then over top of that, I'm going to be diving in to the lip glosses from the Smoky Glow collection. This looks super duper pretty. Let's go ahead and give it a, ooh, that's really pretty. Okay. So there is sparkle on. This is never dull which is this guy right here. And then right here is the shade High Friends, which is actually gorgeous. Like I was a little bit apprehensive in the tube and obviously it doesn't match today's look, but that's a beautiful color. Very, very rich in tone. Oh, I like that. I think I might wanna go in with the shade Never Dull. Let's go ahead and grab that one first. We can kind of play off of it from there if we want to. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply. And all right, you guys, this is the finished look. Everything is all complete. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up the up close so that way we can kind of talk about how things are looking and you guys can really see how the skin is looking so far. Um, I would say as a first impression over all of these products, I actually think it came together pretty nicely. I am noticing as far as, you know, just from like a primer level um, and like a skin complexion overall, I would say around my mouth doesn't look the best and I'm not 100% sure what that is, but just more so like I'm having having some slight emphasized texture. And that could be a myriad of things, which is, you know, kind of the downside to doing a full face. In my opinion, it's like the only downside is that if something goes wrong, you're not 100% sure. But uh, that could be anything from, you know, me using different primers. That could be the Pat McGrath powder. That could be a couple of different things. So I'm not worried about it. Obviously, I'll keep working with a lot of these products. But other than that, um, just to give you guys a basic rundown of how things went, I would say that the, the stuff from the Smoky Glow and Midas collection like that all worked really well. I don't have any issues with it as far as consistency, texture, what have you. The Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer is actually looking pretty good um, on like the planes of my face thus far. My only concern is that like around in my mouth area or areas where I have more fine lines, creasing, that sort of thing. But if you are someone that doesn't struggle so much with those things, or maybe you just don't have a ton of fine lines, or you know, maybe you just only want smoothing over like textured type areas, so far it is looking very, very nice. The Pat McGrath combo, as far as the concealer and the powder, those are both looking really, really nice on my under eye. The uh, the concealer itself actually isn't creasing yet. I do feel like I have a little bit less coverage, so I would say this is more of like a medium coverage type concealer. And again, you know, all things considered, my shade is a little bit light, so you can take that into consideration if you want to. But just based off of what I'm used to using for concealers, I would say this is more of like a medium coverage, but the consistency was really nice. It has a really beautiful blend out and all of that, which I really like. Then that leads us into the mascara, which I just realized earlier I never gave you any thoughts on. So let me go ahead and kind of cue you in as far as this goes. Um, I'm actually really impressed. I like this mascara a lot because as you guys know, I don't really wear falsies ever. I mean, it's very, it's pretty rare, especially lately because my eyes have been very irritated. But this mascara, just like from the first application and the first coat, I was initially just like very impressed because it not only was giving me beautiful um, like definition and 
and lengthening on the lashes, but from that very first coat, it already started to kind of beef up the actual lash and make them look more full. I'll definitely keep you posted, but so far, I am very impressed with this. My lashes right now, y'all, they look so damn good. Like, I don't even know. I don't know if you can see them, but they look really nice. And then also, for those of you that I know are going to ask, this is from Fabletics. It's part of a lounge set that they came out with that's like sleeper shorts and a sleeper hoodie type situation. It's so, so comfortable. I really like it. I've been wearing it all day, and uh, I just, I really enjoy it. So I will leave this linked down below as well. And uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with Fabletics, I'm not like an ambassador or anything, so I, I, I wish I was. Um, but for those of you that aren't familiar, I do have a full video on Fabletics, like a try-on haul, all of that, which I will link up here. I will also leave my little link for Fabletics down below if you guys want to check them out. Um, they do have, I think it's your first, like your, your first two pairs of leggings and or joggers. It's two for $24. And guys, believe me when I tell you, they are the only leggings I will wear. They are the only leggings I will buy. And if you are even considering looking at leggings, and even if you want to do it just for the two for 24, I highly, highly, highly recommend. And you guys know, especially on this channel, like I've never been the type of person that really advocates for that sort of thing. But the Fabletics leggings are literally the best legging I have ever used in my entire life. And I have worn super expensive. I've worn medium. I've worn cheap. I've worn plus size and straight size. And I've worn a ton of different leggings. And for me, it's just, it's Fabletics. And it doesn't even stop at their leggings for me. Like I love everything that they make, but the deal specifically that like is your new sign up link, it's two for $24. And I just, I highly recommend it. Again, you can check out my video. It has more information and I will leave that linked down below. But anyways, that's enough of that. I'll leave it all linked down below and you can watch the Fabletics video if you're curious. Again, none of it is sponsored. I'm not an ambassador, nothing like that. I'm just a huge, huge fan. And uh, you guys, I think that's everything. Thank you all so much again for watching. If you haven't checked me out yet, Instagram and on Twitter, those will both be linked down in the description box. I've been super active over on Instagram, just trying to keep everybody entertained, whether we're getting ready or putting up videos or IGTVs or whatever. So check both of those out. They will be linked. Of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you'd stick around. I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan. Although if we're being honest, lately it's been more like 7 to 7.15 because for some reason my internet, like at 7 o'clock, it just doesn't work. I don't, I don't know why, uh, but it's like, it's like a daily type thing here. So I don't know what's going on with that. But either way, just turn on your post notifications, stick around for Monday, Wednesday, Friday morning uploads. And you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. And I have two of the flavors right here that... Okay, that was so rude. Like, I swear to you, they were literally turning into prunes right before my eyes. They were just, uh, 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 and now they are not. And hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope that you guys are all having an amazing pe- An amazing people? I hope you are having an amazing people. People. Yes. Mm. And I hope that you're ready because we are finally- I hope with this shade is that because I did go in and set the, 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 why do I lose everything, lose everything, lose everything? I really wish that I could keep track of things in my life, like my sanity or my glitter glue. All right, so up close, that spray looks pretty much identical to the normal Morphe one that I would use. So I'm going to leave it, let it do its thing on my face. No, let it do its thing on my face. I don't think so.